Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pa, the chemistry guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss a question involving the deflection of a charged particle in an electric field. Alright, so the question goes something like this. I have a sample of the element, a mericium, was vaporized, ionized and passed through an electric field. The observation was that a beam of Am+, plus, the mass of this particle is given 241, so which is the nucleon number, give an angle of deflection of a plus 2 degree. So the deflection actually is reflected in this diagram here. I have a beam of charged particle involving Am+. Plus, and when I pass this charged particle through an electric field, it will be deflected depending on the charge. Now the electrode on top it is negative and the electrode at the bottom it is positive. So what this means is if Am+, plus, it is positively charged, it will be deflected towards the negative electrode. So which is as expected, the deflection of the Am plus particles is deflected towards the negative electrode and the angle of this deflection will be a plus 2 degree. Now assuming an identical set of experimental conditions, by what angle will a beam of sulfur minus 32 particles be deflected? So we have four options here. So later we will try to determine which is the answer. Now. The idea involving this question is actually pretty straightforward. The angle of deflection of a charged particle, it is actually related to its charge to mass ratio. So the concept that is important for us to answer this question is this idea here, the angle of deflection of a charged particle through an electric field, it is related to its charge to mass ratio. Q, which is the charge, and M, which is the mass of that particle. So in this case, since we are talking about ion, then the mass will be the nucleon number or the mass number. Now if you think about this, actually it is pretty reasonable, right? Because if the particle has a bigger charge, then the attraction between the charged particle and the electric field will be stronger. So therefore, the particle will be deflected to a bigger extent. So the bigger the charge, the bigger the angle of deflection. On the other hand, if I consider the mass, if the mass of the particle it is bigger, that means it will be heavier, it will require more force for me to deflect that particle, the angle of deflection will decrease. So the bigger the mass, the smaller the angle of deflection, the relationship will become an inverse relationship. Another way for me to say this is if I want the angle of deflection to be big, then basically the bigger the charge, the smaller the mass, the greater the angle of deflection. So this is a very simple and straightforward expression and we will need to use this to answer this question. Now the first thing is, since the question never really tell us what is this constant, angle of deflection related to Q divided by M, I can always write this as the angle of deflection is equal to Q divided by M multiplied by a constant term. So we want to determine this constant term. The question gives us a mericium and the charge A is a plus one charge. The mass number or the nuclear number is 241. So based on this, we can try to substitute into this expression. I can try to solve for k. I try to determine the constant in this experimental setup. So the angle of deflection in this case, it is 2 degree proportional to charge. In this case, we just use the charge of the particle, which is a plus 1 charge. Now what you notice is I've dropped the positive sign. I just make use of the magnitude of the charge because the sign of the charge, whether it is positively charged or negatively charged, it will determine to which electrode the deflection would be towards. If it is positively charged, it will be deflected towards the negative electrode. If it is negatively charged, then it will be deflected towards the positive electrode. So we don't really need to take into consideration the sign of the charge here. We just want to measure the magnitude of this angle of deflection. So I'll just use this as 1 instead of a plus 1. So later calculation-wise, it is easier to work with. So the charge will be 1. Mass, of course, will be 241, the nuclear number for a mericium. So if I convert this proportional expression into an equation, 2 equals to k, bracket 1 over 241. So I have an expression involving k, and I do a rearrangement, I can solve for k equals to 482. All right, so once I figure out the value for k, then I can apply this, and I solve for the angle of deflection for sulfur the particle that's mentioned inside the question. Now the mass number for sulfur it is given 32. Charge of it, it is a minus 1. Again, for now, we don't worry so much about the sign of the charge because later we will account for the direction of deflection, whether it is negatively charged or positively charged. So 
what we do is we just focus on the magnitude of the angle of deflection. So the angle of deflection is equal to a constant term multiplied by charge ratio, charge divided by mass. Now the K, we have determined previously, 482. The charge in this case, again, we will use the magnitude. We ignore the negative sign. This is a minus one. So I'll use one here for charge. 32 for mass, and I work this out, the angle of deflection will be 15.1 degree. Now, if you think about this and you compare S minus versus AM plus, the angle of deflection actually it is quite different, right? Now, is it reasonable or is it not reasonable? Now, if you think about it, it should be reasonable. The magnitude of the charge in both cases, AM it is a plus, S it is a minus. So both charges is a one plus one minus one. So we can't really appreciate the angle of deflection based on charge. But based on mass, you notice americium it is a lot heavier, 200 plus in terms of size. Sulfur, it is much smaller in terms of size. So we know that it is much lighter as compared to americium. In terms of the angle of deflection, we will expect it to be deflected to a bigger extent because it is lighter. So therefore, the same amount of force will deflect sulfur to a much bigger extent. All right, finally, we want to determine the direction of deflection. Now, actually, this is fairly easy. By looking at the diagram, we can already figure out if we consider a mericium, which is positively charged, a positive AM plus should be deflected towards the negative electrode. So therefore, the angle of deflection, it is a plus two degree. Now, if S minus, it is negatively charged, then it should be deflected towards the positive electrode because unlike charges will attract each other. So the negative species will be deflected towards the positive electrode. For this question, the angle of deflection should be a negative sign because it's deflected towards the opposite direction towards the positive electrode. So the magnitude we have already figured out 15.1 degree. We just need to put in the sign. So the angle of deflection for S minus should be a minus 15.1 degree. Now based on this answer, and we compare the options given inside this question, the answer for this question should be B. Alright, so that was a very simple exercise involving the deflection of a charged particle through an electric field. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.